淡水 Golf Course, 1935. Oil on wood, 23.5 by 33 centimeters. Private collection. The diverse vegetation unfolds and expands, full of green. The water and sky also have a flourishing green tint, which exhibits a jasper green color. On the left side, a large tree, little by little, opens its arms and its crown props up the sky. Guanyin Mountain in the distance seems to move, following the river and clouds. And displays wave-like continuous undulations. Walking into the shrubs and thicket on the side of the golf course, Chen Chenpu makes the flourishing vitality of nature become the oil paint colors on the mixing palette. On this small drawing panel, he paints the pure and lovely green world. One, three. The tree in the left corner probably is the gold tree of the fairway finish, and it is used to suggest the site of the greens. The ever-changing subtropical forests of Taiwan are always an important subject in Chen Chenpo's landscape paintings. This painting also painstakingly uses various kinds of skills, like dots, left strokes, wipes. Hooks, etc., to represent the lines of the trunks and branches of different tree types, tree crown shapes, and forms of leaves. Two, shrubbery. Golfers need a spacious line of sight and clean green sward. The plants in the golf course usually select small crowned evergreen trees with few deciduous leaves. The plant with the red-green leaves in the picture is likely Eleocarpus sylvestris. This kind of tree is also seen in the natural vegetation surrounding the golf course. The tree's leaves change from green to red before falling off. Three, red. In the flourishing scene of vegetation. The eye catching sight of several dots of red leaves or small red banners expresses a special charm. In Chen Chenpo's works, various contrastive juxtapositions frequently appear. A few dots of bright red standing out in a big swath of green is one such frequently appearing visual arrangement. Four. Greens. The light green grass is the greens of the golf course. One is situated at the end of each fairway. The hole is within the level area of this grass. After the golfers hit the small white ball on the green, they often squat down to judge the texture of the grass, guess the root of the ball, and then test the appropriate amount of force needed to hit the ball into the hole. Five, Guanyin Mountain. Guanyin Mountain is the last formed volcano in Taiwan. Several hundred thousand years before. Once erupted three times, and it is the result of accumulated layers of lava, fragmented rock, and volcanic ash. It forms the repeated pinnacles and piles of green, or the eighteen connecting peaks in the painting. The volcano also provides good quality andesite. From the Qing Dynasty to the present. This stone has been extracted without stop from the quarries at the foot of the mountain. Six, Danshui River. The emerald green Danshui River flows from the foot of Guanyin Mountain north to the sea. This river waters a large area of ground in North Taiwan. It provides water to the inhabitants of the extensive river basin. After the 18th century, commerce and small towns sprang up along its banks. 
Large numbers of sailboats also plied its watercourse network, coming and going and making the flourishing water transport system. 7. Danshui Golf Course The Danshui Golf Course is the first golf course in all of Taiwan. It was completed in 1919. Its construction was advanced by individuals who were enthusiastic about the sport, such as the head of the civil administration, Hiroshi Shimomura, and others. Afterwards, many gentry and businessmen one by one became fans. The old Danshui golf course has constantly cultivated numerous top-notch golfers and has had the development of great significance for the sport of golf in Taiwan.